In this video, we're going to talk about how to survive and thrive in group work. Think of group work as a giant brainstorming session. Everyone comes from different places with unique ideas and experiences. It's not just about getting the info out there, but about understanding each other's perspectives. Let's explore practical ways to enhance our interactions, particularly in group settings in the classroom. We will start with chatting across cultures. Embracing cultural diversity enriches group discussions and outcomes. Here's how to do it effectively. Educate yourself. Learn about the cultures in your group through reading, watching documentaries, and talking to peers. For example, if a group member is from Brazil, you might explore Brazilian food, history, social norms, or even learn a few phrases in Portuguese. This effort helps dismantle stereotypes and build genuine connections. Listen like a pro. Active listening involves full engagement with the speaker without planning your next response. Show understanding by nodding, asking clarifying questions, or summarizing their points. For instance, if a team member explains a cultural tradition, you might say, so what you're saying is that this tradition is significant in your culture because... Drop the assumptions. Recognize that norms from your culture may not be universal. For example, while direct eye contact is considered polite in many Western cultures, some Asian cultures may view it as confrontational. Be open to learning about and adapting to these differences. Share your story. Create an environment where everyone feels comfortable sharing their cultural insights. This mutual exchange fosters respect and deepens group cohesion. Perhaps during introductions, each member could share a unique cultural practice or holiday they celebrate, illustrating the diversity within the group. Tip number two, pronouns matter. Using correct pronouns may seem like a small detail, but it plays a significant role in creating an inclusive environment where all individuals feel acknowledged and respected. Set the example. Introduce yourself with your pronouns and encourage others to do the same. For example, I would say, hello, I'm Jess, and I use she, her pronouns. What are yours? Make it a safe zone. Declare your group a safe space where everyone's identity is respected. This approach ensures that all members feel valued and acknowledged. Practice makes progress. If you're new to using pronouns, practice them regularly. For instance, practice saying, this is my friend Alex. They use they, them pronoun. Own your oops. If you slip up, apologize sincerely, correct yourself, and move on. Acknowledging mistakes and learning from them shows respect and commitment to inclusivity. Tip number three, embrace different strengths. Leverage the varied strengths and abilities in your group with these strategies. Start by using the shine and let shine method. If you know a lot of the answers, try holding back and give others time to think and solve on their own before helping or showing them your solution. With that, expect to and be willing to make mistakes yourselves. Mistakes are a valuable part of learning and exploring ideas and problem solving. One person's mistake may lead to another's approach to solving a problem. Embrace diverse strengths. Identify each member's strengths and interests and assign group roles accordingly to enhance team effectiveness and ensure meaningful contributions. Within your group, set goals and deadlines. Agree on what you aim to achieve and set a timeline for each stage of your work. Having SMART goals can keep the group focused and on track. With that, recognize that some tasks may require different timelines or methods depending on individual strengths and challenges. Offer flexibility and support. Recognize individual needs. Understand that tasks may require different timelines or methods based on individual strengths and challenges. Flexible role and deadlines. Allow flexibility in role assignments and deadlines to ensure equitable and effective group work. Leverage strengths. Assign tasks that play to each member's strengths, such as having a visual thinker create the charts and diagrams for your project. Check in regularly. Establish a routine of checking in with each other about progress and challenges. Encouraging members to express difficulties openly can prevent misunderstandings and foster a supportive environment. 
This practice helps in adjusting group dynamics and workloads to better suit everyone's needs. Improving civility and cultural competency isn't just about being polite. It's about valuing everyone's input and group work. Embrace these practices to boost your communication skills and succeed in a global world. Let's commit to respectful interactions in every classroom. You've got this.